Hi, this is Pete from AppletonPermaculture.com and I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial on how to use the free mind mapping software called VIEW. It stands for Visual Understanding Environment and it's a really powerful bit of kit for getting some neat little mind maps out. So first of all, if we find on Google VIEW mind maps and then it gets us up the website here then you can just click the button here on the right to download then you just need to click sign up for a new account and then there's just a little bit of information you need to put in there they don't, sell you, they don't send you any spam emails or anything like that uh, I'm not quite sure why you need to register but it's worth it, you get a really great bit of kit so then once you've got the link and you've downloaded it you just install it as you would with any normal software and then here you go, you've got view and so if we start with just the basics in fact it is fairly basic to get the hang of it anyway so we've got these four important buttons here there's the cursor there's the node there's the line and then there's the rapid prototype tool so the nodes are basically just boxes boxes and you can make lots and lots of boxes and so in there you put whatever the information is that you're doing and then this next one does lines between them so you can show all of the relationships between the things uh, so then if you just wanted to make a mind map say so just ideas and then get out as many ideas as fast as you can then you use this one it's the rapid prototype it basically combines the other two so you get a line as you hold down the left mouse button and then you let go and it gives you a node so you just type in all your ideas there and then you can link from this to more ones you can link and link and link and link and the advantage I see of using view over doing a hand drawn mind map is that you can edit it once you've drawn it all and you can get some really cool looking um, mind maps out so here are some that I've made previously and used on my diploma um, so this was planning a permaculture lesson that I taught about applying permaculture to business and so yeah you can see there's lots of different things going on there and then here's another one for the diploma so you can get all different crazy colours going on and stuff so just show you quickly how to adjust the colours so if you click the box that you want to adjust or you can drag out a window to adjust a few and you can change the fill and that just fills it in with a different colour so you can use that to show different kind of ideas and categories and groups and things and then the weight changes how thick the line is so you might say you're showing energy flows or something you show lots of energy flowing uh, not very much energy flowing you can also put an arrow at the start as well as at the end or take it off the end or just have no arrows if you want depends on what you're using it for and then also the stroke changes it to dashes or dots you might find some use for having it like that also you can adjust the text using these you can also use this just to write hello you might have some use for that and then another cool thing you can do is you can change the links so this is a kind of wiggly worm, a kind of snaky one which might be good for showing kind of flows and things or you can do a curve and then you just use that dot just to change it around a bit so there's a few different ways you can use it say so we wanted to show the sediment design process got survey assess design 
implement monitor evaluate and tweak and then you can just drag them down as well like that and then we can just pop our lines between them like that nice and easy Or say we're doing a garden design, we might want to show the different elements that we have in the garden, so chickens, salad crops, compost, kitchen scraps, keep it nice and simple like that. And so, salad crop can go to the chickens, but also the chickens have things that can benefit the salad crops, like the manure. Chickens got manure that go to the compost. You can feed the chickens the kitchen scraps, or you can put the chicken scraps in the compost. So there's just another example of how you can use it. And then obviously, as I showed before, there's the kind of standard mind map as well of just throwing out loads of ideas from a central point. So really, once you've got the basics, as I've just showed you here, then the power of the software is really up to your imagination. You can use it for lots of different things. Um, you can also do some much kind of nicer different things than I've shown here. So let's say we could do stroke like that and we could just say right, here's the assess level here that shows us assessing. Um, this one shows us doing the, the survey and then here's us doing some implementation say I don't know it's really up to you. I'm sure you can use it a lot better than me once you've got the hang of it. Uh, and then I'm just going to show you one more thing as well. You can save it as a view file, which means that when you open it, you can still edit it and things. So I advise doing that regularly. But then also, you can save it as a JPEG file, which is a picture file. And then that means that you'll then be able to import it into other software like Microsoft Word or onto the internet as well. So if you click insert picture from file and then go on up to your folder and then find it. And then here we go, we've got this in Word now. And then we can write a little bit about our mind map. And I don't know, you could print that off and include it in your diploma or whatever you might like to do with it. So now I've showed you all that, you are free to go ahead and use it, you know all the basics, just fiddle about with it, mess around with it, make a couple of silly mind maps that have no importance, and just get used to it and experiment with it, and I look forward to seeing what you use with it. If you've got any questions, then just pop them in the box below the video, and if you like the video, then click like, and thanks for watching.